Hello and welcome Pixels! In this video tutorial I want to talk about the ProBuilder tool in Unity which is a very nice tool for quick level design and testing. You can create easily 3D geometry in Unity itself and plan your game in a more efficient way. In the past it was a nice plugin which was not officially part of Unity and I can't remember but I guess you was needed to buy it. I will show you how to get it now in Unity if you want to use it for your project and how to get the basics for creation. Let's start from the beginning. I'm here in the Unity Hub window where I can control all my Unity versions and projects. For this tutorial I will create a new 3D project. Standardly the ProBuilder tool is not in your project yet. You need to go to Window, Package Manager, search for ProBuilder and enable it. Now you get a new category in your project management bar which is called Tools. Click on it, then ProBuilder and select ProBuilder window. You will get this window which can be placed wherever you wanna. I place it here on the left side because I'm used to have it here. As well you can see here many functions which have colored categories. Some are enabled and some are disabled because you can't use them yet. You have to do some preparations to use them. However, I want to tell you that you can make here and right click and change the mode from text mode to icon mode. This really depends which one you prefer. Both modes are mostly similar but with some small differences. If you hover the very first icon, you get the information box about this function. It is the new shape tool which tells you that it will open in a new window. But it doesn't. It creates a basic cube which will be immediately placed in the scene. For sure it is a very quick way to create a basic cube, but the tool have way more functions. If you hover the new shape tool icon again, you see the shortcut for this. Do this and open the wanted window. You are able to open all submenus in this propeller window with Alt and left click as well. In the submenu window you get an overview of all possible basic shapes which can be modified as well here. You will see your 3D object in the scene in this blue color here because it is not fully placed there yet. You have to press build and create your 3D object. Just for information, if you're using the text mode, you just have to press on this plus icon beside the new shape button to get the new shape window for more adjustments. In my opinion the second most important information for the ProBuilder is the edit mode selection. If you open the ProBuilder window there will not be only the window itself, you will get this edit mode bar here. This is separated into four areas. Object, Vertex, Edge and Face Selection mode. The 3D manipulator orientation is basically set to global. You can change this by searching this icon here, which contains three modes as well. Global, local and normal. This is very useful for transforming, rotating and adding geometry. Extruding faces was for me very important. Go to face selection mode and select any face. I mentioned the colored categories before. All functions with red color have something to do with editing geometry. Now search the extrude face icon. By clicking it, your face will be extruded by 0.5 by default. 
If you alt click this icon you will open the submenu for this function and you will be able to define your extrude exactly. However, there is as well a shortcut. Just hold shift before pulling the 3D manipulator handle. You should be familiar with the basic shortcuts for navigation in Unity. W is transform, I is rotate and R is scale. If you are in scale mode, press shift plus center of the 3D manipulator for creating a face inside of a face. One last thing before I end this part now. Adding edge loops. Select any edge in edge selection mode and press ALT plus U. You will find this function icon as well here. Insert edge loop. So, this is enough for today. If you have more questions or want to see more in the next episode, just write it to the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. It would be very nice to give this video a like or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more game dev videos. Cheers!